I, I didn't realize it, but it's basically Venser. Or it's it's the creature side of Venser for our deck. It's also a wizard. Thank you so much. I could see a third Harbinger happening. I haven't been impressed with the Sage of Epitier, especially if I'm going to punt and not use it properly. Uh, maybe just more roast. Maybe even more roasts. Maybe like a second main deck roast. Jay says run four. Oh, I don't have four though. Thank you so much for the freebie though. Thank you so much for the donation, Jay Bone. Yeah, we can add another roast. We could go back. I mean, honestly, I kind of wish we went back to more moons in the main deck. Makes me look like an idiot. It's okay, we're Phillies. Red Green is resilient to the moon, yes. The new Red Green list run three forests. I've played with four Harbingers. Feels pretty cloggy. This makes me want to build wizards. Two to three Spell Pierce. We could run Spell Pierce. I don't hate Spell Pierce. I, there are matchups it's not four, for, though. There are matchups that it is not four. Thank you so much for the Harbinger, man. I'll totally play it. I'll totally play three of Harbinger. We're not sure about a fourth one, but this curve actually might be a lot happier in the list. Three's fine. I think three is just nice. It's going to make the Adepts work better in the deck, too. Love the deck, Everbrew in Standard. Just curious. Scorpion Fader, the only deck I've been interested in Standard or combo-based lists. Crap, I thought I conceded. That's rude. I thought I conceded. My bad. Sorry, I we had the donation... We had the donation happen... It threw off my groove. Didn't you used to run four wizard cycling? Joshua, I ran three, and then we cut it to two, and now we're on one. Uh, you could run two. Two's not terrible. I mean, two would look like you put the flame slash in the board, you cut the second roast, and then you run a second ether mage. Um, second ether, ma ether mage makes us have more copies of moon, because you can go get the magus, more copies of moon. It lets us have more copies of sower, more copies of venser. More copies of Archmage, like more copies of everything in the deck. Um, a second Aether Mage might be fine. The reason we cut trimmed from three, I never actually run four. The the reason we trimmed from three is it it does have a cost. You do have to pay for the Wizard Cycling. It's three mana. Yes, it's instant speed. And yes, it's super super sweet. But um, actually, why don't we main deck the the Flame Slash? I actually really like the extra Flame Slash. Um, we can just put the relics in the sideboard. I think two is much better than one. Kami says it's a fey counterspell. Um, feelings or feelings, it's kind of a bad mana leak, actually. Sages, whatever. Uh, it, it's, it's, hang on a second. Ooh, what's this? It's random. I hate to say it, but it's, it, it, it's not a hard counter. If it was a hard counter draw spell, it would be sweet. The problem with the Sages dousing is it's unless they pay three, so it's like kind of like a bad mana leak. Now, bad mana leak could work. It, I'm sure it would counter something. I'm just saying it's a bad mana leak. It's like a worse mana leak that maybe draws you a card. Which is cool. I'd rather just run Cryptic, and we could run Cryptics. I'm trying to stay high on the creature curve, though. Uh, because that's actually a lot of what the deck's having issues with right now is just not enough meat, uh, which would mean cutting, which would mean adding more things like harbinger, like even a fourth harbinger, cut either flame slash or the main deck roast, and just start having more creatures. I like the play set of bolt, but it's not always like play set of bolt right now is a lot less awesome than it used to be. Um, this hand's fantastic. Oh my gosh, it has the combo, guys. We have the full combo into master of waves, guys. This hand is amazing. Keep. Unless his hand's amazing, but, like, we're on the... We lost the coin flip again. Oh, it's Affinity? Eesh. This hand actually would be better if it had a bolt, then. Hope it's not a quick hand. Springleaf, bang on the drum. He has an amazing start. Shoot. Yep. Need a bolt. Our hand was so sweet. Alright. Let's see what we can do. That's frustrating. Wow, what an amazing start. We have the full combo in hand, but it doesn't it's not gonna matter here. It shouldn't matter. He's got a steel overseer that I didn't answer. Now we could draw something off the top that answers the overseer in the next turn or so. Ravager two, his hand was perfect. Yep. 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 Okay. 
Do, 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 That's disappointing to have the full counter yet not be able to use it. We have to rip Bolt now, and even that doesn't save us. Like, I have to answer the Steel Overseer. And then after that, what? Okay, we ripped Bolt. He's going to sacrifice this to the Ravager, but I, I can't leave this on the table. Yep. We're toast! So round two, man. Eldrazi, 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 Bogles, Eldrazi, Eldrazi. That sounds like fun. Bogles with worship, maybe? I don't even know if it needs to worship. Actually, maybe Bogles can just really tangle with them quite well. Not that I want to build it, just because it, you know, beats Eldrazi. I'd much rather beat Eldrazi with Blood Moon, but... Um, Master, oh my god. Alright, dude. Yep. Would this game have been different if I was on the play? No. We would have seen the Bolt later. So actually... Whether, like, this, this matchup, unfortunately, it wouldn't have mattered whether or not we were on the coin flip, I don't think. Because... We would have drawn to the bolt later. Although I would have already established Prodigy to counter the Master just now. Actually, it was relevant because I would have countered the Master. I would have, I would have spent the Prodigy. Moon's not a good draw in the matchup. So I can play Prodigy and then Violin a Prodigy. Or if we think he has more gas, um, you just... I think we're just toast. I mean, like I can try to establish the Sage of Fables Glen blocking... But with the flexibility of Ravager and Master of Ethereum pumping the whole squad, it's going to be really hard to come back. He's also got a signal pass that I didn't answer. Ugh. Just concede hide info? I think so. I mean, okay, what happens if I play out both Prodigies and Block Block? Then the next turn I play Sage, and then the next turn I play Glen, and I have a bunch of blockers, and then we Master, but I'm at 10. So it's not going to happen. He doesn't really know what we are. We'll bring in all the affinity hate. Actually, I even have Hercules Recall. Not because the matchup is bad, but because I actually really like Hercules Recall um, in modern. Moon's out. Staticaster in. Yep, that's it. Uh, Relic out. And... Glenn out. Could be Vendillion Cleek, although I like how Vendillion Cleek into Master Fields. You could also run the Roast. And cut an, either another Glen. It's not really about the... <sighs> yes, we want to have access to the combo. Sower's pretty weak in the matchup. Outside of grabbing... Uh, you could grab... Like, Spell Sky's not bad. It blocks well, and it blocks Etch Champion. Venser's actually kind of cute in the matchup. Period. Vendidia Clique is probably unnecessary, too. I just like how it feels in the matchup, but it's probably unnecessary. I probably don't have time to sit back on Sage of Epitier. If we're not bringing Karanos, I actually don't mind maybe cutting a land, although the deck hasn't been happy when I do that. Oh, you know what? Hang on a second. In the new version, if we're going to be cutting Sage of Epiteers, I have to add more mana. I have to add more land drops, so hang on. Let's either finally cut a Master, because we're adding another Aether Mage, or cut a Glen. One of these needs to get cut, and we need to add one to two more lands. Either, uh... I'd love the Desolate Lighthouse again. In the matchups where we're not mooning people, this is so powerful. And probably one more land. I mean, 23 might be the sweet spot. We've gotten screwed with 23, though. 23 only works when we have enough... Um, yeah, if, if, I can't cut a single land because of the Sage. When we added the Sage. I, don't, I just don't know if it's a Glen match, period. Yes, it's cool that we can establish this combo, but honestly, against them, we could just sacrifice dudes to counter things. Master and Sower are probably where we want to be. Spell Skite's uber sweet against Affinity. Rafaela says I'll counter the Ravager. Say yes. This is pretty poor. Even though we were just excited about the Spell Skite. Uh, this is a little better. It has at least a bolt. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, I think we're actually going to... I be, I would be down to maybe cut a Glen. Or have the, have the extra Glen in the sideboard. Like we did before initially. And still run that much master. 23 land, sideboard a Glen, and then we'll cut something from the new build. If you want to run fewer lands, but need 23, add creature lands. Yeah, we could run more Muta Vaults. Once the Eldrazi Beast is gone, Havoc, top. 
Once the Eldrazi Beast is gone, uh, for sure. I'm actually just going to leave Mountain in case there's something I want to toast immediately. Yeah, for sure. Once the Eldrazi Beast, if and when the Eldrazi Beast leaves, I think this deck could easily be white for Reflector and maybe Medley Mage. It's fine. Ooh, that was a misplay, because uh, I'm hoping to top Shattering. Might have to shock myself here. I think I was supposed to just play Cavern and play Skite. Because now if we top deck, um, if I top deck Shattering Spree, I won't be able to replicate it. Unless we draw another red source. No, it's fine. We don't have it in hand. If we had it in hand, it's a blatant misplay. We may not draw. It's a two of. So you go. Still think I should have let Cavern. I mean, Cavern can cast Skite. You don't have to name Horror. Midnight. I'm good, Dino Ari. How's it going? Hey. Send a car fetches and Eternal Masters. That'd be cool. Okay, that's definitely what we kill. Oh, at least we're playing around Spell Pierce. That's good. Wizards. I mean, I can't leave this alone. I, I mean, part of me, I'd love to slam the Sage, but that's just wrong. He was sitting there as if he had Spell Pierce, wasn't he? He's on the Master version, which means there's probably a Spell Pierce in his hand. The Master version likes Spell Pierce. So if we bolt, we want to leave up two mana again. He sat there looking at that bolt like, oh man, can't, can't Spell Pierce. Woke up for some food from a nice food coma. Food coma. Speaking of Fukoma, uh, I got I got a little gift for Valentine's Day. I got uh, I got a card. Hang on a second. I'm not gonna say who it was, but um, I feel so I feel so spoiled. I'm not gonna say who it was, but um, I got a card. I got a gift card for Chipotle. On Val I I've never really received that kind of gift on Valentine's Day. Isn't that weird? All right, so we're gonna block the Mem Knight. I've never really received, I, I, I didn't realize that people like give, like I thought that Valentine's Day was just like a day where like you give like girlfriends flowers and stuff, but like I got something. Nice, so we can kill that too. I call ex-girlfriend, break out your gambling dollars. See, I've done it again. Look, we drew Tarn, I want to play Sage, so I can't really, um, it's fine, we'll take that out. I can't really justify, um, we don't have a second mountain, so again, if I draw into the, uh, the Shattering Spree, I'm still making it hard on us. Science. Little Beats, thanks for the Fallerino. Hope you guys had a nice Valentine's Day, by the way. I know it's like random to say, I guess, but I hope you guys had a nice Valentine's Day. Balgo says you probably should just go play Hearthstone. The thing about Hearthstone is it's like Wallet Stone right now, although Magic's no, no better. <laughs> Magic's actually worse in some regards, that's true. It's funny, we were talking about Wallet Warrior, my buddy and I. He, he likes a lot of Hearthstone. It's not that I don't play Hearthstone at all. Uh, it's actually, unfortunately, a more visually appealing game. I, we're actually working at Card Hoarder right now. How many of you guys would like it if I built visual effects into Magic Online with the help of some programmers? How many of you guys would be interested? <laughs> we got a reader. How many of you guys would be interested if I spent some time trying to program effects into uh not necessarily directly into magic online but maybe just into I, I i'd have to think of a way to do it seriously how many of you guys would be interested in in that um i wonder if he has a trick why would he just do that why would you give it the mem night maybe frustration he maybe he's frustrated because he just topped the spell scout after we answered both overseers uh, I turn off all the visual effects in similar games, so I would actually dislike it. Bucky says yes. Maybe we only do it like once or twice a week. I'm trying to set up for a bigger, um... I'm going to try to set up for a big Master of Waves. I'm going to cast it face down. I'm going to set up for a bigger Master of Waves. 
Animated magic online would be sweet. I'm not really interested, says Honda Speeder. 